Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with my Samsung Galaxy Tab E9.6 and the question a lot of you viewers ask me is how do you unroot this tablet and put it back to how it was? Okay, so I've looked on YouTube, there's no tutorials showing how to do that with this model, the Samsung Galaxy Tab E9.6. So this will be the first tutorial video on YouTube showing exactly how to do that. So yeah, basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna flash the stock firmware back to the tablet and it's going to remove the root, all your applications and everything. And it's going to put the official stock KitKat firmware back onto the tablet. So it's gonna be back to how it was like the first day when you took it out of the box, when you got it brand new and you took it out of the box. So yes, make sure you back up any important files pictures, videos, just make sure you have everything backed up to your PC or a thumb drive because what I'm about to show you is going to wipe the tablet totally clean and it's going to put it back to how it was. Okay, so this is the T560 model. <clears throat> so if you have the E9.6, if you have the Samsung Galaxy Tab E9.6 T560 model, I will leave a link to my quick download for the stock firmware in the description down below. If you have the T561 model, I will leave a link to where you can download the firmware from. Be warned but it takes, it takes a long time. It takes about two hours to download because it's from the Sam firmware website. But um, if you have a T560 model, I will leave a link to my quick download. That'll be in the description. And that only takes like half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour to download. So yeah, um, I'm just about to start. So like I said, make sure you back up any important files because it's going to wipe the tablet totally clean. Okay, so first things first, you're going to download the Odin file. This is what you use to flash the stock firmware and you're going to download the stock firmware. So you're just going to need these two files, Odin and the stock firmware. <coughs> Okay, so just right click on the desktop there and create a new folder. And you're just gonna drag and drop the Odin file into there. Open up the folder and then extract the Odin files here. And then just click on the extracted folder and click on the Odin application and hit yes and then Odin will open up you can shut down the background there and you can shift that over to the side move that out the way as well Okay, so now you're just going to create another new folder. And drag the stock firmware into there. Open up that folder. And then you're just going to right click on the stock firmware and extract, extract files here. <clears throat> Okay, so once it's finished extracting, you will see a tar file. So you're just gonna drag this and place it on the desktop there. Looks like I've already got one on the desktop, so let me just replace that. Okay, so here it is. This is the tar file. Let me just move Odin back over here. Okay, so everything should be looking like this now. So the tar file and Odin's open. Okay, so all we have to do now is on the tablet, just put the tablet into download mode. So if you're running a custom ROM, you can just hit restart and 
go to the recovery and hit OK. If you're running a custom ROM that has that, that option, sorry, just do it that way. Or you can just power off and then press volume down, home and power to go into download mode. Or you can just boot into the recovery mode and then reboot to download mode just like this. And then in order in here where it says ID comment should be blue. That means everything's set up correctly. If yours is still grey, um, you will need to install the Samsung drivers and then reconnect and it should then turn blue. Okay, so from here, it should say added, added, we're good to go. Just go ahead and hit PDA. And select desktop. And look for this file, T560 stock firmware. Here it is. We're going to look for this file, select it. It will say not responding. That's perfectly normal. Just give it some time. Okay, so now it's been added, as you can see there. So just go ahead and hit start. And then it will start to flash the firmware. just wait for it to flash it will take a few minutes to complete you'll notice there'll, there'll be a little progression bar on the tablet's display there okay so it's almost done Okay, so the tablet will reboot. Okay, so keep the cable plugged in until it says pass on Odin.
Okay, so now it said pass, so you can unplug the cable. So it's just optimizing the applications. This firmware is in German, but you can change the language as soon as it loads up. Okay, Netherlands. So I'm gonna choose my language, English United Kingdom. One. Okay, I'll skip all of this for now. So yeah, you just have to go back through the whole setup again. Because it's like you're setting up a brand new tablet again. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, there's still the custom ROM wallpaper there in the background. So what you have to do is just do a factory reset. Uh, where is it? Back up in reset and just do factory reset. And it's just going to wipe the rest of that off clean.
Okay, so once again, let's just go through this. Okay, so we are now complete. So we are completely back to the stock original firmware that came with the tablet. Android version 4.4.4 KitKat. Okay guys, so one last thing before I go. You just want to check. So go to about device and go to status. And down here at the bottom, it should say official. If yours still says custom, you need to do a hard factory wipe. So power off the device and um, use volume up home and power go into the stock recovery and do a factory wipe from in there and then reboot and then it will say official instead of custom but yeah this is how you unroot and go back to the stock original firmware that came with the tablet anyway it's your boy the android doctor and i'm out remember to like and share the video Doses.